Hey gang, Dirty Rob from the Gazelle Sports Dirty Herd and the West Michigan Trail Owners here with this week's video, which is going to have just a little bit of product review and a ton of product information. We need to clear up a few things. I sit in the store many days of the week and talk to customers and my coworkers. I run the trails often and I talk to my fellow trail owners and there's a product out there, a family of products out there that I think we need to clear up a few things on to make sure no one's getting hurt and we're all doing the right thing. Uh, I'm talking about compression. So I guess today we'll talk specifically about compression socks. I'm not going to go into ace bandages and compression shirts and shorts and all that kind of stuff. We're talking about socks primarily because I think that's the most popular compression apparel out there. So let's talk about them. Uh, first things first, if you buy compression socks or sleeves because they both exist, if it doesn't say graduated compression, you're not doing yourself any favors. Compression is compression, and if you wear a compression sleeve, which will extend from maybe your ankle to the calf, you could be doing yourself more harm because the blood could pool beneath the sleeve. You want graduated compression that runs from here to here, so it encourages blood flow back from the extremity, furthest from the heart, back to the heart. Simple, right? It's gonna reduce the muscle vibration, extending the endurance of the leg, it's going to encourage blood flow to the worn out, possibly damaged tissue, speeding the recovery. Right? Right. We love it. Sore calves, shin splints, plantar fasciitis, achy Achilles, whatever it is, we all have them for that. We love them. They're great. They're fantastic. But they're not the magic bullet. If you have shin splints, the sock is going to help you feel better. It's not going to fix the problem. If you have tight calves, it's going to help you feel better. It's not going to fix the problem. Uh, understand that please this is gonna be great for helping you feel better on your run and it's gonna be feel better for your next run whether you're running in it or sleeping in it these are fantastic but you need to do more than just wear these uh, but let's talk about now which ones we're wearing uh, and here's where my short little product review comes in I'm a huge fan of CEP I love them they're fantastic my brain works this way CEP is a medical company that now makes athletic wear. All right, everyone else who makes compression wear is either an apparel company or a sporting goods company and they make what they are passing off as a medical device now. So that A concerns me. Uh, B, compression is measured in milliliters of mercury. Anything over 30 milliliters of mercury is medical grade. You shouldn't be able to get that from anywhere other than the doctor. CEP is the brand that promises the highest milliliter mercury on the market. 20 to 25 to 30 milliliters, depending on the size. All their, all their socks and sleeves come with a range around the calf. So depending on how close you are to the maximum range of that size, of that size that's the tighter you're, tighter you're gonna get. Whereas here, if you're at the lower end of the range, it's gonna be a little bit looser. So that's why I don't promise a specific number. Um, so that is why I love CEP. Any other brand out there, and there are lots of them, and they make good products. I'm not going to badmouth them. But most of them then will promise 15 to 20 or even 10 milliliters of mercury. So it's just less compression. More compression, good. Less compression, bad. If what you're after is compression. So I love CEP. It's great. Graduate compression does all the jobs. Let's talk about why you might wear the socks versus the sleeves. There's a limit to the time you want to wear the sleeve. Um, Socks are great for most everything in any amount of time you want to wear them. Sleep in them overnight. Travel in them all day long. Run your event, hang out after your event in them. It's great. There's not a problem. There's no time limit to how long you can wear the socks. The sleeves, on the other hand, have some limits. Because the tightest compression is around your ankle and your foot typically is hanging below your ankle, if you wear this for too long, you may get blood pooling and swelling beneath the sleeve. When I say beneath, I mean south of, I mean your foot and your ankle. This is designed for those people like myself who, hey, I love my smart wool socks, I'm not giving up my wool socks, but I wanna wear compression for some longer events or I'm a little sore and cranky from yesterday's run. That's when these come into play. Now, truth be told, I've been saying for years that I sleep in these and I still do, even though I know better. But I started sleeping in these for recovery before I learned that you shouldn't and I didn't have a problem. So I got away with it. So I continue to do it, and I like it. I like my feet to breathe at night. What can I say? I want to wiggle my toes. I don't want my, don't want my foot compressed in a sock. 
So I sleep in the so- in the sleeves. Sue me. I actually don't. Please. Uh, but if you ask me now and say, what should I sleep in? My sleeves or my socks? I'm going to say the socks. It's safer and you will undoubtedly get a better effect. I've slept in both. I've run in both. I've traveled in both. I've worked expos in both. Easily the best choice in any case. I chose this to sleep in back in the day because I didn't know better and I wanted my feet to breathe. That's all. So anything longer than say four hours, no more than four hours. Anytime, traveling, running, skiing, standing, working, these are great. Trust them, believe in them, they're awesome. Uh, last thing, I get the question a lot, how long will they last? And there's no set answer to that. It depends on how often you use them, how close you are to the maximum range of your size range. Uh, I have three or four pairs of these. I've had them all for at least two years. But I don't use them multiple times a week. I don't use them every month. Uh, it depends on what my training is doing, how long my miles are, and how I'm feeling. If I stretch properly, I stay hydrated properly, uh, I warm up properly, and I don't run marathon distances that often, I personally don't need these. So I've probably worn each of mine 20 to 30 times, and they're great. They will tell you, by they I mean the proprietors of the companies who sell compression, you should probably get a good year out of these if you use them with regularity. But they're not going to last forever. This is a medical device. It's not a sock per se. Uh, and so some of the benefits of it will wear away. It will start to stretch out over time. So there you have it. Compression socks and especially CEP socks. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope I said it all right. A, traffic. B, talking to this camera or this phone. Still a little unusual to me. I hope I said it all right. I tried. Uh, but this is a kind of a serious topic that can have great benefits for a lot of people. So I hope you took something from it and I hope I actually expressed it all correctly. So until next time, gang, I hope you're outside enjoying this great weather because summertime is here. The bugs are out. The black flies are out. Use your bug spray. Use your dryer sheet. Have a good time on the trails. Thanks for your time. I'm out.